Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Reverend Evans here, and today I'll be showing you how to port forward your Minecraft, no, port forward your router for a Minecraft server and make a Minecraft bucket server 1.2.5. So, first things first, just open up your internet, and for Linksy routers or Cisco routers, you want to type in 192.168.1.1. And then it'll ask you for your username and password now. If you didn't set one before, it should just be the default one, which I'm not sure what mine is, I kind of forgot, but it's usually just admin, for like the username and password for the password. But mine here is admin, admin. I'm just trying to figure it out right now. I just don't know it yet, but I'll eventually get it. Just give me time. So, there, now it worked. So it was, it was admin, admin. So, remember your password I guess and then go to applications and gaming on the tab for your link says 82,000 Cisco router so go to port range forwarding in the spy tab whatever then for the first port forward you do Minecraft with the application name and then start an M4 it can be like anything you want but I chose top 25565 which is the default protocol both and then two IP address it's 127 for the last one, and to figure that out, you want to go to start, type in CMD on search, open that up, type in IP config. No, it's just one word, so IP config, okay, there. So, it gives you all that data, data, whatever, so you see where it says IP4 address right there. Mine is 192.168, so it's my last three digits, so choose the last three choose your last three digits from that and type it into the two IP address and save settings. Now, then go to setup and this part is to keep your IP the same. So go to DHCP reservation and this is to make sure that your IP never changes every time like you like turn your computer on or connect to your internet because it always gives you a new IP address. So find your computer and assign it that IP address so it will always be the same and it won't cause you to have to report forward every time you restart your computer. So mine will always be 1.127 as the last three di digits. So it's going to add yours, whatever, and then just save settings and just X out of it. So continue. Close. Okay. Now the next part is for making a Minecraft server, which I'll have files in the description. So here's my folder I have right there, server. Just go and download that from the description, and you'll have a file called Craft Bucket in it. So step one is to do right click in your new text document, and then just open up the text document. You just don't need anything. Just open it up. Let it load here. Now I should open up a Notepad, but I have Notepad plus plus, so that's why I opened it up in that. But I'll have like coding in the description to copy and paste into this. This corresponding with your computer. So for my computer, I copy and paste that into it. Then just save as server.bat. So just save it into your server into your, your server folder and save and just X out of it. And now you see I have a server file. So just just like the, I'm gonna get rid of the new text document and just have those two files in it. So next thing is to right click on the server and do edit. And then where it says, then click on craft bucket.jar and rename, control C to copy and paste that. Then go to this and where it says craft bucket.jar, just highlight craft bucket right there. It's between the two the jars, just highlight craft bucket, just craft bucket before the dot and then do control V for pasting and paste the name of your snapshot file so it can easily find that whenever you start your server. So it's the exact name as that 1.2.5. So now instead of saying craft bucket, it says craft bucket dash 1.2.5 dash R3.0 dot jar. <coughs> Excuse me. So now you just want so now just do file save or control S your server file. Just X out of that. Then just run your server. So I'm gonna speed through this because it takes a while, but you just wanna run your server and it'll start downloading all the files that you need possible for this. So I'll come back whenever it's done. Okay, so it's almost done here. Just 
they're now stunned. So, lesson one in the server, never ever just X out of the server. It will crash it and it will delete stuff from it. It will like, delete files and just not a good thing to do. So, so close your server. You always want to click on it and tap in stop. And it will say stopping server. And it, this takes a while, but it shouldn't take that long. Just, just the first time it takes a little while. So. Okay, so now that it's almost done, stopping server now it's done. So it says press any key to continue. Just push any key and it'll close it. And then basically open up your server notepad file, it's a properties file. If the open with notepad if it doesn't say open with notepad. So just open that up. Then you, you want to go and edit some stuff on it. So edit the port forward to because it's port forwarded to the 25565, which is the default port. So if you did another number, just port forward it to that. Just having that number right there that you port forward your router to. Then the next thing you can do is you can change the message of the day, the MOTD, which is a Minecraft server. So I'll change mine to, I don't know, Red Bear Gnomes Minecraft server, I guess. So got to apostrophe yes. So. Excuse me for my slow typing, I got a new keyboard that I'm just getting used to, so. Anyhow, so. Then do control S to save it. And then open up your server. So, you're basically done here. And then you want to uh, um, open up Minecraft. Actually, first, I gotta show you the IP that you connect to your server to, so. Open up Google or Mozilla or whatever. Just go, just go on Google and type in what's my IP and search that. So. And then you'll see your public IP address is, is like 75.187.2, whatever. Just copy and paste that. So Control C, X out of Mozilla, open up Minecraft, and I'm just gonna speed through this part because it goes really slow. It's because my Minecraft takes forever to open up. So just, I'm just gonna fast forward through, through this part real quick. Let's just go to like multiplayer on this. And then, as you see, my server's already up, but I have a domain name on it, and I want to put my actual IP for that, so I'm going to erase all that and do Control v and copies my IP, my public IP, and that's what your friends will use to, to, to connect to your server. And you see the online message of the day, it's kind of too long because it goes into the status bar of how many people are on it, but anyhow, it's fine. So, just connect to it, show you that it works, so it's logging in. Now, my Minecraft kind of lags, because it's my own server and I'm recording, and yeah, so, anyhow, as you see it says, like, my name, join the game, so, I'm going to show you that it's actually me on my own server, as you see right there, Cyrus the Great logged in to the server, it has an IP and everything, so, see OP Cyrus the Great, and it'll make me op, as you see right there, you are now op, so, that's how you make a Minecraft server and port forwarder router so thanks for watching please just comment right and subscribe thank you oh, well imagine as i'm pacing the pews in a church chorus.